Jennifer Mook. Is this your first time at Wanderlust? Oh no, I, I think it's my third time coming. It's just marvelous. I always tell people it's like a Circus du Soleil meets yoga. The joy, the music, the happiness that comes from it. Yoga needed that kind of boost. It was like, it's not just about being on the mat, it's about looking at the trees and riding cable cars and swimming and bicycling and running and dancing at night and music. It's, yoga is a way of life and that way of life is joy because it's oneness with God. What do you think Yogi Bhajan would say if he was here right now? He'd love it. The first solstice was not our three Joe solstice. It was a solstice in New Mexico in New Buffalo at a commune in 1969. First solstices were dancing, were uh, music, uh, were singing. We worked hard in the yoga, but we always celebrated. Um, any funny stories you can tell us about Yogi Bhajan? Oh, he would be so funny sometimes. He would laugh, he would tell a joke, and nobody understood. It would be half in, in, in Punjabi, it would be half in English, and he would tell it, and he would laugh so hard he would cry. And then he, BBG, his wife would come in, he'd tell the story again, and he would laugh so hard he'd cry. And we still didn't understand the joke, but we were all laughing so much because he was laughing. And I think those were some of the most joyous moments when he would just, he would laugh so much tears would come. Any advice that you would give to the future Kundalini teachers? Just keep teaching. Teach anyone, anywhere. Let your teaching come first. The monetary return will come follow. I just wanted to serve, and I think if you want to serve, destiny is written on your form. If you're supposed to be doing big things global, you'll do it. If you're supposed to earn a lot of money or a little money, you will. But you must do it and everything else will follow. Because the monetary gain is just energy. But I think to love and to serve, he would always say, just whoever you could say, how may I serve you? It might be somebody in the airport that you teach a three minute meditation to take them out of stress. It might be Kirtan Kree in an old people's home. But let the conscience come, and those that don't get it yet, it's okay, they will. Dot Nam, I'm Guru Mook, and you now are watching Breathe Old.